Thanks to Joan Corpic again at LA Nissan. So I'm very, very happy that you chose our Pro 4X Xterra. I think you made the right choice for obvious reasons. 4.9 out of 5 Google reviews. And uh, since I'm not going to be able to see in person, which I'm kind of bummed out about, I'm going to do this video delivery for you so you can reference it in the future if you have any questions about operation or uh, maintenance of the vehicle, okay? So I'm going to start it off underneath the engine bay here kind of point out the uh, service areas for you. So like I said before, it's a 4.0 liter V6. You're gonna have your battery right, located right here at the front. Um, windshield washing fluid over here. Uh, your power steering, your dipstick to check your uh, oil. And to change your oil goes right here. Got your air filter and all that jazz. Close that up. Um, I did tell you how good the tread is on the car, but I want to point it out again. Amazing, amazing tread. These things are going to last you a long time as long as you're not stepping on the gas and burning rubber on the pavement. Um, so if you do ever pop a tire or something like that, I wanted to show you how to change your spare tire, which is located underneath the vehicle. So I'll just get my cameraman to poke his head back here. Uh, the jack and all the tools to change a spare tire are located underneath. Yep. Underneath this seat right here. And uh, so you can pop both these seats up and you can actually remove the seats entirely by pulling these red latches and you can remove the seat cushions and knock these down as well. Uh, so your spare tire and everything is going to be located underneath here. Uh, your winch as well to get the tire from underneath the vehicle is loaded, located right here. So you grab your winch, your jack and all your tools. You come around to the back. Pop it open and like I said your spare tire is going to be just underneath here. You put the winch in right through this hole right here and you winch it down. You'll get access to your tire and then you jack up your vehicle and you change your tire. Um, like I said before, you got more storage space and you know what to do within this thing. You have storage space underneath here. Your cargo net's going to be here and you're going to have tie down hooks right here which can go through the utility track and you can put them any different way that you want and set up your cargo net to contain cargo in the back seat. Get my cameraman. Oh, one more thing I'll point out. So I'm sure you know, as a mother, your way around the first aid kit, which is located right here. So I'll get my cameraman to hop in uh, shotgun and I'll walk you through the features, okay? So, let's we'll start off with the easy one, and that's the seat. So it's a manually adjusted seat. I'm sure you know how to figure that out. It's pretty intuitive. You got three different adjustments. One's forward, one's backwards. One's for height of the seat. And then you can also recline the seat as well. Power windows, power locks. Um, I'm gonna start it up here. So to set up your, let's turn that off. So to set up your phone for Bluetooth is actually very quite simple. If you have a smartphone, I'm sure you do, it's 2016. You go into your settings and you find your Bluetooth settings icon and you turn it on. And so when that's on, you go here and you set up. Please say a category like phone or a command like points of interest followed by a brand name. Phone. Phone. There is no phone connected. Would you like to connect a phone now? No. So you would say yes in that situation and uh, it would just sync your phone up to it and then you download your contacts list and then in the future you just press this talk icon and then you can make a phone call based off of the contact name in your phone. Um, you can receive calls inside your vehicle with your Bluetooth on, it will sync up automatically in the future. You just press that button to hang up is the other button. Um, to cycle through your entertainment system right here, you just keep pressing mode. Go through AM, FM, satellite radio with subscription, Bluetooth, CD, auxiliary, all that jazz. Let me turn that back off. <laughs> that Rockfade Fosgate uh, system's pretty loud. Um, so with the camera, I can change the guidelines on my backup camera. I can keep them on or off, whatever you prefer. I prefer on, because then you know exactly where your tires line up. And for your navigation, when you get the vehicle, go to home, um, change this, and you put in your house number and everything, and then you save that, and then next time 
you're anywhere in North America and you're lost, you can just click, uh, you can actually say right here on the Bluetooth feature, say find home, and then it will actually show you on your GPS system. Um, you can also, just anytime you're confused, a like phone or a command you press like the button and you pull this up, by a brand name. and it'll tell you what you can and cannot say. You can always ask for help too, and it'll walk you through. I'll turn that Canceling off. Canceling voice recognition. Thanks. Sometimes she pisses me off. Um, so down here, you're going to have your heat, heated seats for passenger and driver. That's pretty self-explanatory. Your four-wheel drive lock mode. Um, that, uh, that you should only ever have on when you're four or high. So your transfer case is right here. Like I said before in the previous video, two-wheel drive is front-wheel drive. And uh, that's going to give you the best fuel economy. But you only want to be in two-wheel drive when uh, road conditions are ideal. So summertime or the snow is cleared and it's uh, you see clear pavement. Four high in every other condition, so it's snowing or it's really rainy or it was snowed the night before and might be icy out. And then of course four low when you wanna go play in the mountains or going off-roading or something. And uh, say you are off-roading and you do end up getting stuck, which is highly unlikely in this Pro 4X Xterra, turn traction control off and you'll start slipping and then when you start slipping and you feel like you got out of that groove, turn it back on and rip through it by punching the gas and you'll slip and rip out of there. Uh, your hill descent mode is located right here. And when you engage it, you will see the icon. I'll just take the camera over here. You'll see the icon flash right there and that's when you know you're in hill descent mode. And it's the exact same thing with, tr with traction control. As you can see, it turn off right there and like I said, four wheel lock. Okay, so I'll give this back to my cameraman. Um, cruise control settings, I believe that's pretty self-explanatory. Um, in here is just where you're gonna have your USB port to charge your phone and your auxiliary jack so you can play music through your phone, but if your phone's hooked up through Bluetooth, you can just play music through your Bluetooth audio system. Um, what else is important? You got your glasses case in there. I'm going to grab this from my cameraman, just in case you want to figure out how to adjust your mirrors. It's going to be located right here. So that's for the left side, that's for the right side, and then the analog there is going to adjust it accordingly. And then this is for your, uh, your lamps up top. You just turn that on, and your lights on top go on. So, Agnes, um, it was a pleasure doing business with you. We we really appreciate uh, earning your trust and uh, we'd love for you to uh, spread the good word about LA Nissan to all of your friends and family in Lethbridge and uh, we do give $200 checks for referrals so if you refer a friend or a classmate and uh, they come do business with us we'll write you a check for $200 so um, hopefully you love your new Xterra as much as uh, I enjoyed speaking with you today and hopefully we can do business in the future okay take care.